I'm Chris Karen, and I'm gay. I have a kind of a unique story. I uh, lived a very full life in a different reality. I came out really late, and I was 26 or 27. I was terrified to tell anyone that I was gay. When I finally got the courage to tell my sister and my mom, the reaction that I got was something that I never expected. They were so supportive, and that carried over to the rest of my extended family, and you know, being myself was so welcomed by everyone around me. I mean, it was amazing the amount of love that I received. I was very fortunate in my upbringing to not encounter hate in the way that other gay men have probably experienced discrimination. I recently, however, was walking down the street on Hollywood Boulevard of all places um, on a Tuesday evening after the election. A couple of guys screamed out of their car and called me a faggot. I was walking with one other, one other guy who also happened to be gay. I thought this was an isolated incident. Maybe we are exuding something that is, you know, prompting these people to speak in this way. And then the following morning in the same location, I, uh, by a construction worker, was called a faggot. The second time I just asked the guy if he was out of his mind because I've never experienced this. I had an honest reaction and I just looked right out of it. I said, are you out of your fucking mind? And he didn't have anything to say. I just carried on and he carried on and I haven't experienced that since then, thankfully. But I'm also fortunate that I did, that I did experience that. I was called a faggot a couple of times in 10th and 11th grade. And since then, I've sailed along pretty smoothly with uh, only attracting love and positivity. Very recently, my niece looked at me. We were playing and she looked at me and she just said, hey, I love you. And she's four years old. And uh, it was so unprompted and so genuine. I feel like I'm such a positive influence to my niece and nephew and to other young, on other people in the younger generation of my family because I am unapologetically myself at this stage of my life and it took so long for me to get there, so I'm so grateful that I got there in time to represent individuality and represent confidence and represent all that is me to people who inherently look up to me and are so inspired by me that they, they voice that without a prompt to do so. Something that I've been itching to talk to, like a younger generation about homosexuality and about becoming comfortable with yourself and avoiding shame and guilt and finding love and compassion for yourself. Everyone has their own journey and like it's okay if you're not, if you are not ready to come out when you're 14 years old. And it's okay if you are ready to come out when you're 8 years old. One person is not better off than the other because our, all realities are different and our circumstances inform the, the choices that we make. I came out when I was 26 years old, and when I talked to my mom about it, and they said, why, why did it take so long? We're so close on so many different levels. Why couldn't you tell me? I didn't think that they were ready to hear it. And she said, maybe you're right. So there's, there are different deciding factors as to why everyone takes the path that they take. And I just feel that everyone should know that. If you're not ready to do it, don't do it. But always have compassion for yourself. And when you are ready, I can guarantee that you will be showered with nothing but love from the people that matter. I think that it's important that, ed, that anyone who's struggling with anything, specifically their sexuality, hears these stories. I know that if the five-year-old inside of me would have heard someone tell stories like this, I don't know what my path would have been. I'm so fortunate that the world has gotten to a place where we can openly talk about sexuality, where sexuality is openly depicted in film and television in, in all media, and I just hope we can keep that as a consistent in our culture.